everybody. Welcome to another recap of America's Next Top Model, British Invasion. Alright, so there's two Americans and four Brits left. I'd say the Brits are kicking some arse. <laughs> Nigel brings them Chinese takeaway. And he brought these ridiculously large fortune cookies to which they all had open. And of course, Homer... They all had something specific to say about each girl, and then when Homer, and then when Homer, when Nigel opened his, what was in yours, Homer, when you opened it? It said that they were going to Macau. That means 15 hours on an airplane. Uh, I don't think I would like that. So when they got there to the posh hotel, there was dragons, dancers, and an Asian Elvis. Or at least what I thought was an Asian Elvis. It probably wasn't really. Uh, to welcome them. So they went up to the hotel suite and it was over the friggin top. It was gorge. <laughs> it was adorable. Uh, Sophie was kind of a little bitch to Alicia. Um, she took her clothes out and she threw them around and eh, it's neither here nor there. So they go and they meet up with this guy who explains that there's five elements in his reading thing. He's like a Chinese horoscope or Asian horoscope thing. There's fire, wood, uh, water, earth, metal. I probably got those all wrong, but I think that's what it was. And he did everyone's reading. He told them what they need to improve on and blah, blah, blah. And after the challenge, the winner is going to get a spa treatment. And basically, what it was, was you had to go and put on some makeup and a scarf, basically. <laughs> and come back and say how you've changed your aura. So, Laura wins the challenge basically by putting on a black scarf as a sarong. <sighs> kind of weird. And she has to choose Ebony uh, to go to the reward with her because she's the only one left on her team. She doesn't particularly like her, but um, she picked her. Because she had to. A little awkward there, too. Alright, the photo shoot this week. Uh, they're in Asia, and the number one like fabric export is silk, I suppose. So they had to uh, model gowns made of silk and silk worms. Eh, I hate worms and snakes and bugs and blah. So this kind of made me nauseous to watch this. Um, during the photo shoot, it was really weird because they were telling them to like visualize emotion. So what makes Laura feel powerful? Sex. So, she was pretending to have, like, virtual orgasms. It was, like, really, ugh. Not cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Call me an old fuddy-duddy fart, but ugh, I don't want to see that. And it was so funny because it reminded me of another movie that I think is hilarious, Dumb and uh, Dumber, where they ask the, you know, the guy poses as the mentally handicapped guy, and he's like, we don't drink from the hose, do we? And he goes, no. So it was like, we don't eat the worms, do we? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. She almost put it in her mouth. That would have been extremely disgusting. Um, it was all in all a pretty gross photo shoot. I don't like those worms. Now I'm probably going to have nightmares about them. And about the judges panel. Ugh. All right, so as usual, Nigel, Kelly Catrone, Tyra, and this week's special guest, Bonnie Chang, designer of the silk gowns. All right, let's talk about the photos. Laura, they were going F nuts over this photo. It was okay. They were all like, oh, it was like you were dancing and they caught you in a dance, not like you were posing at all and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Ebony, she's wising up. She's wearing those ponytails all over the place because it's so weird to want to be a little baby. <laughs> it's real, you know, <sighs> in her photo, she had no neck and no waist. Catherine. Uh, she was thinking about people dying 
And you know what? Nigel's right. Death's not an easy sell. Not in fashion, anyway. <laughs> and her photo was all like, this way, please. It wasn't very anything. Alicia, she wasn't selling the dress. That's so not cool. Everyone knows that models are supposed to be selling products, not themselves. Annalise, she had her hand on her head and on her hip, and Kelly Catrone was friggin' confused. <laughs> it almost looked like she had a headache. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't like it. Uh, Sophie's, I love Sophie's photo. Um, she looks so anime, and I know they love that. But the judges said they hated it. I think they were lying. All right, now the order of the photos. First photo, of course, goes to I Just Had Sex, Laura. Then Annalise, then Sophie, then Ebony. Uh, which means that Alicia and Catherine are in the bottom. Oh no, a Brit is definitely going home. Ugh. So Alicia, of course, uh, sell, your, sell the clothes, not yourself. And Catherine, mm, you're usually amazing, but not this week. So who do you think would go home? You would think that Alicia would go home, but no, Catherine went home. Next time, uh, they're going to Hong Kong. And someone accuses Laura of sleeping her way to the top. With what? The worms? <laughs> it was virtual sex. All right, kids, till next week. Much love.